So here we are. Storm, what's it called? Hank. 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 I don't know. So I'm with Chris, Y Brigade. Hope you can hear me over the wind. So this is his solar tracker. Let's have a quick look. So this is basically park here, but as you can see, it's actually bent that rail. But um, yeah, it's sort of work in progress, isn't it, Chris? It definitely is. Definitely Tell me what, let's go the other way around. With, with. So it's working progress, Chris. It is definitely. You're not going to give up, are you? No. no. So just a quick update on the solar tracker and he's on the wind turbine. The, the post, the post is okay, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just the turbine. What, what mark are you going to be on now? Seven. Mark seven! So we're back inside Chris's workshop. So what's happened to this turbine? What, which turbine is this, Chris? This is a Marlec uh, Terrain 1200. 500 watt turbine. Yeah. Uh, we put it up on the last storm, whatever it was. About three, four weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. The one we were getting peaks of 95 miles per hour. Right. And bear in mind, this is sort of six meters up in the air. Yeah. And it, these obviously blades flex, but they yeah. flex that much that they've actually hit the post. Right and they've took the tips off every single that. one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, mm. so it's about, and what were you saying earlier about the salt air that you discovered? Yeah, the salt air affects the slip rings. Not so much on this one, but I'll have to show you on one of the other turbines. Yeah. But uh, certainly the gusts are killing these turbines. The gusts are killing the turbines. Um, yeah, but it's, it's, so it's not, so a lot of these are rated for a certain mile per hour, aren't they? Yes. Which is but normally around about most of them say 40 meters per second. What's, what's that in? Times it by 2.2, so well over 80 miles so, an hour. So these are designed for 80 miles an hour, but what it can't withstand is the gusts. Basically, they're taking they're taking 70 mile an hour winds up here and hitting them at, with an extra 20 plus miles an hour for a few seconds. Yeah. It just overloads them. So it's the gusts that are killing different versions of turbines. And I can't be here all the time to no. turn them off. No. <laughs> so what we've got here, Chris, is some InstaBreeze motors. Now you've got one that you've disassembled. Really interesting. Yeah. And that's that's the rotor. This is the one that originally came down. It's got a bent shaft on so it. This, this, in, it, in it falling over, which is in the video, I'll put a link in above yeah, now. That's it bent. bent that shaft. Yes. Right. So you stripped it down. Yeah. Um, one of the issues you did mention to me was this part. So what's this called? So this is the slip ring part. Yeah. And you can see that sits inside. And you can see where the salt air is attacking these. Right. And it's also seized. This, so this should spin. So basically it's... what that means is when a turbine turns, it doesn't twist all the wires up, it provides an electrical contact for it being able to rotate yes. on its axis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's what you've got here is another InstaBreeze. This is the original InstaBreeze motor that we had with the vent shaft. We've stripped the motor out of this one yeah. and put the, uh, the rotor into this one. This right. is a sealed unit. Yeah. Now, th this has actually got an O-ring on it. And when I strip this down, the slip ring was perfect. Right. So obviously the sea air hasn't got to it. So what we're going to try and do is go back to the original unit yeah. and put smaller blades on it. Right. Okay. Just well, to try and stop the frontal attack. Yeah. Because the, it's the gusts again. Yes. But what happens with this one is you can see the difference between where the post is yeah. and where the blades is compared to the to, to the, the Marlec. Yes. It was too close. Yeah. So these can flex yes. a lot more. So you can pivot on yeah. there and the blade's okay. going to be here. Get your blade. These are the blades and you can see they are quite yes. flexible. Yeah. Hopefully the, the 90 centimetre ones will fit in. You can there. It's a lot less flex. Yeah. So we're going to actually try. I've got some old blades with the edges gone. We're going to cut some down to 90. But I have got some proper 90s coming 
in the next few weeks right. to try. So you can see the actual size of these things when when they're up. So when that's up on this motor, even if the blades flex, it's not going to hit the Can't. pipes, is it? No. No. Brilliant. So great progress. Um, it's just working progress with Chris. So one of the things he's learned is that an exposed slip ring is not a good idea with salt air. So an enclosed unit just makes more sense. You stripped this down and that was perfect, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. excellent. So this is Chris's uh, adaption of various turbine bits yes. that you tried last week. And it survived quite a few hours, didn't it? Yes, it did. Before it uh, destructed itself. Did it take out your weather station as well? Yes, it did, yeah. I'm a bit gutted about that, yeah. really. But the thing is with Chris, you won't be defeated, will you, mate? I'll try not to. No. The head's not gone down yet. <laughs> so, hats off to Chris. I'm going to put some footage in just to show the sort of uh, foundation he put in the Mark 7 turbine. So he changed the turbine, the base, the foundation from the, the first video that I did with Chris. Um, so this time the tower stayed, the, the, the lamp post there that you bought. That stayed, it's just the turbines that are failing. So that was nine tons of concrete. Didn't <laughs> nine tons of concrete. So uh, won't, that won't move. No. Um, so hats off to Chris. Stay tuned for some more wind turbine stuff and salt stuff here on Orkney because this is the place to test stuff, folks, to destruction, as Chris is finding out. Yeah. So uh, follow Chris on Twitter slash X. It's at Y Brigade and you'll get up-to-date bits of footage of turbines and solar trackers either surviving or not. But it's all good content and it's interesting. From a windy Orkney! See you next time!